one and only. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors, where we truly believe in having fun and creating lasting memories in the outdoors. Come join our team each and every week as we travel across North America, filming 52 new hunting and fishing shows a year. Yeah, we'll put one of those things on me again. Listen to my big <laughs> snore. <laughs> Pull a Steve. You know what I mean by that? Yeah. We're, like nobody that. in the drink tonight. No, no we're fine. No. Right? <laughs> you guys, no. you guys no. aren't gonna look down on me if I outfish you all, are you? Oh, we would expect that. You have wisdom, right? If you can shape a guy, put a guy like this in the shape, you can no doubt outfish all of us. Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week with our good friend Brian Zupke. Hey Brian. Nice to see you, big guy, I'll tell you that. You know what, I always love fishing with you and you know why, the stories. The stories? A man of many stories, you know? And they're always funny stories, some that we can tell and some we can't tell, right? Yeah, a lot that we can't tell. <laughs> so Brian, you got me down here, I fished all day and you said, hey, you gotta get down, we're on walleyes. I'm like, oh, we're catching walleyes at home. He says, we're on walleyes at night. Now a night bite is something that we really have never done for the most part, except for up in the Peshtigo and up on the Menominee, but never on a lake system. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sight fish these walleyes. Right now we're just waiting for the good time to start that, so. Till it gets dark, right? Yeah, till it gets dark, and then we're gonna fish river mouths where the current's running out, and they just stack up at night there, so. And you're just casting to them. Casting jerk baits, and then we're, we're sight, yeah, like, we're, yeah, just like middle of the day, sight fishing, but with lights at night. That sounds like fun. It is a lot of fun. You know what, and there's not many bugs out yet, so that'll be pretty decent right, too. Right, right, this weather's great, but yeah, this hasn't been that good. These cold fronts have been pretty crappy. Yeah, it has been a, definitely a cold spring. Hey, the rumor is that you're doing a lot more guiding now, huh? A lot more guiding thanks to you. Right, well, and you've got a bunch of other people that help you all too, yep. promote your business. And you know what, I've had several people go out with you and fish with you, and they've all said they've had a great time caught lots of fish and had fun. And you know that's the part about fishing. It's not always how many fish you catch. There's a lot more to guiding than just catching fish. It's about having a good time. Yep. Well, we're gonna have a good time tonight yeah, because you know what? We've got Randy and Scott from Leroy Meats and I know we always have a good time when we're fishing with them guys and we're gonna be eating good like always. So, hey, let's see how the night goes. What, how much on the first fish? 10 bucks. 10 bucks on the first fish. Yeah, I can use 10 bucks.
wall area here, you guys. Oh! Oh, I'm a battle! Oh! oh. oh. You see that? <laughs> we actually hit it with all the lights on them. Yeah. Oh, fish on. Woo, did he swat that? There he is. Oh, nice fish, too. Oh, it broke my line. Oh, it broke my line. Well, we got the net. All right. Fish on. You want to get the net, Larry? Yep. All right, nice. Oh, there's a big one, too. Here, get that one in. Nice job. Woohoo! All right. I just lost one, Brian. Nice job. You got another one? Come right at it. Randy, come on, Randy. Woo! Nice job. Gotta love it. Blinding one eye. What was he? <laughs> now that's a good fish. Now the fish. What's the limit? 15? Uh, 15 inches and five. Okay. Nice fish. Just doing some sight fishing tonight. Loving it. Loving it. Seeing a lot of fish, but getting them to bite is a little difficult. That's but okay. we're getting a few. I like to work at it. I'll put them in the box. Oh, Thanks, man. bud. Appreciate it. Where's the net? Where's the net? Got the net? He's hooked real good. He ain't going nowhere. Oh, nice job. All right, Woo. I gotta let someone else yep, do it. Yep, let's take, let's change. You stay up here and uh, let's let Scott come up here and you teach Scott how to do it. All right. Nice that job. Is, that is definitely what I wanna do. Nice job. He T-bone that T-bone. <laughs> you can get a good look at a T-bone steak by sticking your head up a butcher's butt, but wouldn't you wanna come to Leroy Meats and take your word for it? <laughs> can we put that on TV? I'm gonna let someone else take over. I, I feel bad that I'm, you know, we'll, we're gonna get the other guys a chance at this because this is definitely a special thing to do. Yep, you know, that is spot, special spot to be able to see them. that. You doing it? I'm coming? Switch it harder. No, oh, he missed. He missed it. You got. You got. You got to keep it moving. Right. Here he comes. Come keep. Water? Yeah, please. Okay. Give him a hard switch. Let it sit now. Get him. You got him. Oh, nice job! Don't reel to the tip. Don't reel to the tip. Let's get flip the net. We're getting. No, get the net. No. Hey, don't flip it in. That's a five hundred dollar rod. I'll barf. <laughs> Ready? Nice job. There you go. Oh, nice job. Open your bail up, though. Open the bail. Up. Yep. Nice job. Loving this fishing, night fishing with our good friend Brian Zuppi. No, let's let Scott get a couple more. Here he comes. Get ready. Here get him. Get him. Oh, 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 that was awesome. Where's the net? Whoa, what the net? Awesome. Hey, here's you're the net guy. I'm the sandwich guy. Look at what Larry's doing. I'm making sandwiches. Yeah. Is it a keeper? Oh yeah. Woo! Scott! Open the bail. All right. All right. There's another one sitting right here. Some Leroy hey. Meats award winning brown schwager. Oh, I love brown schwager. Mm. Brought a little Widmer cheese along. One of the hundred different cheeses we have. A hundred? Yeah, there's over a hundred different cheeses. No, that's not your fish. <laughs> no, sir. I don't like holding up fish that I don't catch. Now, this here is the T Bone Series Minnow. And uh, these guys are casting the cycles. I'm going to go with a regular minnow. And definitely they want the white or the fire tiger. It's cool to see them fish actually come after that bait. And the cool part is that the water is so clear that you can cast and see how to work it. Watch right here. See him? Case of mine. See him? See him? Right there. See him? See him? Case of my bait. He's right on. Right here. See him? See him? Here. There we go. Oh, 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 get the light off. Right there. There he is, right there. Get on the right side. 
<laughs> that was on the slow pull that too. Was pretty cool. I don't know. Be close. Oh yeah, that's 17. What a hook set. Voila. What a hook set. What it was cool to see him come after that bait. Thank you. All right, Randy. So you can see these fish, and actually just now we came up on a shallow spot. You can see these fish come after the bait. So you can you know how if you don't see them react to one thing that you're doing, you just quick change it, give it a little twitch or a pop, or sometimes just stop it for a second, and them fish absolutely whack it. So it's it's cool to see their attitude change by doing different things. Ooh, I'm loving this. This is an addiction. You know, I fish a lot on big green, and I'm definitely going to go over there and give this a shot over there too. Because again, clear body of water, fishing at night, there's not a lot of pressure out there. And I think that's when the bulk of these walleyes actually feed is at night because of the clear water in these bodies of water. And obviously in the daytime, have a ton of traffic on them. So these fish just lay right down in the weeds and them boats are going over them all the time. You don't even know they're there until night like now, and they just lift up out of them weeds and they're on the hunt, on the search for something good to eat. Another nice one. <laughs> I am tearing them up now. I got her dialed, it's the right twitch. It's all there's to it. Twitch, twitch, twitch. I'm loving it. I seen that fish just turn right around. He was pointed the other way, and he turned right around and came after that bait. I don't think he's big enough, but 14 and a half. Nice job. Really nice Woo! Nice you want the net for yeah, that one? I need the net for this one. Would you get that one on the T-bone? T-bone! Woohoo! T-bone is on fire! Loving that. You know, the big thing about that's a brand new bait, these fish haven't seen that at all. Pull that up, Randy. It's all in the twitch. You know, when you're twitching, I'm gonna shut my headlamp off so you guys can see a little bit. Just put that T-bone on. Yeah, and that's amazing. Hold that fish up a little bit right there. Now measure that. That's a good, you yeah, know, 16 inch. 16 and a half, 17, nice fish. You there. know, Randy, and it's all in. I was watching Brian, the way he was twitching that bait. It's all in that stop pause or the pause twitch it a little bit pause twitch it a little bit and you can see these fish if you keep your headlamp off to the side of them you don't want that direct beam on the fish just keep it off to the side of them you can see that the eyes you can see them come right after the bait you stall it for a second and just twitch it one or two times and they just absolutely t-boned it now here you go turn your lights off Woo. Oh. Oh, no, that's a oh, that's a nice fish. Woo! Oh, yeah. Wow! Nice job, Brian. You know, Brian, I'll tell you, this is a definitely very, very exciting. The cool part is, obviously, you always it's always cool to see fish. You know, the beetles see them in the water, but to see these walleyes come after the bait and to be able to see exactly how the bait is, the fish are reacting to the way you're working the bait. It took me about probably an hour before I finally even caught one. Uh, you know, just getting that right twitch down is the biggest thing. And you've been doing this for a long time and this is one of your favorite things to do, isn't it? Yeah, this is what I've been doing for, you know, since I was like 16 years old, since I could drive and have a little Lund boat. And this is real special to me, you know, we're sight fishing these walleyes and cast it to them and just watch them attack the bait and yeah. It's totally something different than I'm used to doing. You know, I mean, to be able to see them fish come after the bait that bait that, and hit it, that is super cool. Yeah, it's awesome. I love doing this. This is definitely unique. It is. And does this work all year long or is it just time it's, frame? It's spring and fall. Okay. You know, um, yeah, the weeds get too bad around here and then the fish just cruise the weeds like they do out in the lake during the summer, you know. You okay. got to slip over them, but this is so shallow, you know, it's... It's kind of hard to fish like this in the summertime. So if people want to get a hold of you, Brian, how can they do it? Uh, on Facebook, or they can call me through my website. Um, get a hold of me, I'm 608-219-0505. Set up a date, we'll get you guys out and catch some walleyes, bluegills, whatever you want to catch. You are a multi-species fisherman. Definitely. All right, let's do it. 
Dude, I am stuttered like I can't talk. Like I'm just <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so excited right now. Like I can't I can't even think. Got there, a we have a little bit of brown swagger. Brown swagger yep. American potato salad sandwich. That is. Have you ever had one of them before? What do you think? That's fabulous. That is good, isn't it? I made one before. I'm like. I've had brown swagger and I've had American potato salad, but never once have I put them together. That is a good. That is what they call a Smitty sandwich. Scott, would you like one? You don't want the potato salad mix? Cheese, uh, okay. Got him on a, yep, got him on a slow poke jig for the LS series, yep, in a toy tail. Boy, that was cool. This, whoa, 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 did I get my jig? No, this is a different one. Look at that, he just absolutely, look at that jig. I love that. There's one thing I love about that slow poke jig. Look how long that shank is on there. And when you look at the head of that, that bait is always sitting upright. And you saw how that fish just absolutely attacked that. But that's how that sits in the, in the water, just like that. So that tail is always up wiggling. And he went right by him, he just turned right on that. That one's probably a little bit short, but, and we got quite a few anyways, but wow. Loving it. There you go, little guy. Hey, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest turkey on the planet. Hey, Brian, I'll tell you what, I learned from you tonight. It took me an hour before I caught my first fish that you really need to work that crankbait a certain way. Yeah, you just need to keep changing your pattern, jerking it a different motion to get the fish to trigger to bite. And, and see what they want. See what they want. And that is, if you just do the same old thing over and over. You're not going to catch any fish. You're not going to catch any fish. So definitely, you know, and it certainly does help when you're in this clear water and you actually get to see the action of that crankbait and obviously see the way the walleyes are responding yeah. to the difference, the your way you're jerking that back and forth. Yep, definitely, yeah. That's, that was key tonight. Definitely a good tip, and again, we want to thank our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Grab it. Fish on! Got one, Randy? Yep, fish on. This has been, I'll tell you, oh, <laughs> yep. What do you got on there? Oh, you got the team. Oh, get him, get him. Get him. T-bone. T-bone again. Oh, <laughs> nice job. Good job, Randy. Got to like that. So, Randy, what do we got new? over at the store there at Leroy Meats. Right now we're we're not making any new brats because we just came up with the, that Larry Smith brat about a month ago. and The buck and bite. The buck and bite. And we did tame her down on the heat a little we bit. We did, so, and uh, to make sure everybody know, knows that because boy, even for me, cast iron stomach it is, you know what, it was a little bit hot. It was, I love the flavor of that. And how many, now how many flavors of brats does that make now? Uh, that that is just a little over 60 flavors, like 63 flavors we're at right now. And if they come into the store, the most of the time, do you have all 63 flavors? Uh, almost all the time, we have all 63. We might be out here and there, um, you know, pretty busy on the weekends, and we only get five days to make inspected right. products. So, yeah, we try to keep all them flavors out there. And uh, you know, th this wall I hear, you guys are gonna probably laugh at me for this but I think this one's going in the pro smoker smokehouse when oh, I get into I'd work like to try a smoke because walleye. you know not many people smoke walleyes but you know over at Leroy meets with this salmon fishing coming up in the you know out of port and uh, Lake Michigan there's great great fishing to come here we can smoke any of your fish um, just just as much as do you all your wild game your turkey your wild turkeys um, season five here is we're just finishing up here so any of you guys still got your Turkey's in your freezer. Bring them over. We'll smoke them for you. Same as or fish. Or if you have any more venison left in your freezer. Oh, yeah. Three. Yeah. Get to that. 
Scott, you got the net? I just had a hit right here, too. Is this east one? Oh, that is a good one, too. Get him to the side. Get, he's barely hooked. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Oh, nice. All right. Nice job. All right. How big is that one? 19. What? Ooh, that's a good one. I just had a hit right behind where you were. Hey, Brian, I'll tell you what, what an experience it truly was tonight. One of the first times I've ever gotten to cast for walleyes at night and actually see the fish attack the bait. Pretty unique. It was an awesome night. You guys had fun? Oh yeah, it was a blast. That's awesome. Scott, we want to thank you, thank you for your sponsorship you and great time. food. And Randy, same oh, yeah. thing. Awesome. Hey, make thank sure that you if you guys are looking at some really great food, you want to definitely check out Leroy Meats in Horicon and Fox Lake. Unbelievable, that's all I can say to you. Hey, and Brian, you know, again, hey, if you guys want to come out and experience some great fishing, give Brian a call. And most importantly of all, we want to thank this week all of the police officers keeping this country safe, our homes, our streets, and our cities. And remember, most importantly, if all the things you need to remember, remember, it's a great night to be alive. It's, oh, you know. I'm serious. Typical guide. Oh, hey, I'm we, before we get started, we can get you under. Now we get in the boat, boom, down. Dude, we should have came out earlier. We, we could have. We should have. Check, check. You want to check? A double check or a triple check? Check, 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 check. Check. These camera guys nowadays, oh, millennial up to millennial. Oh, dude, we're always hungry, right? I should look like Zuki, right? Oh. oh, yeah. You know, you think that would be good luck. It's a little, little, little. It's the fish hands. Dude, I have I have the worst skill with holding fish. Fish hands. If you haven't noticed in any of the other videos I've done, I'm just uh, really bad at holding fish. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs>